Unit 3 Review. Solve the following number stories. Use your fraction circles or a drawing to help you. There are five small rounds of cheddar cheese in Grace's refrigerator. Immediately, or right away, I'm highlighting the number, the word five. And I'm going to draw five circles. She wants to bring a small wedge of cheese to school in her lunch every day for the next 15 days of school. If she wants to eat the same amount of cheese every day, how much should she bring to lunch each day? So I'm going to highlight 15. And this whole unit was about div dividing in fractions. So, and it says if she wants to eat the same amount of cheese every day, how much should she bring? So that same amount tells us it needs to be equal. So my number model is I have five small rounds of cheddar cheese and I'm dividing it or splitting it amongst 15 days equals. Now, your solution can just be 5 over 15 or you can reduce it to one-third. And if you're using a picture to help you, you might think of it this way. I have 15 days of school and five things of cheese. 15 divided by five is three. So if I split my cheese wheels into thirds, will I have 15 of them for each day? And I do if I count them, one, two, three, and so on. And then when I get to the end, I have 15. So on day one, if I take this chunk of cheese, I am taking one third. I took my whole and I split it into three and I took one away, so it is one third. Number two says, two families live in the same apartment building. Immediately, I am going to highlight two. They decided to share a giant 225-ounce container of laundry detergent. I'm going to highlight 225. If, if the family split the detergent equally, how many ounces of detergent will each family get? So, like with subtraction, with division, we want to divide the bigger number you, usually. And our last one we didn't. So for this one, what are we splitting? The 225 ounces. And we are dividing it or splitting it by the two families. So your number model is right there. Solution, you want to do the long division model. So I have 225. I write my symbol divided by, I write my 2 next to it. I'm going to erase it so I can get a little better. So first, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. I subtract. I get 0. Bring down my 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract 0. Bring down the 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2 because the greatest number I can go is 4 without going over. So I have one remainder. So my solution is 112 and so since it was divided by 2 I can write my remainder as a fraction so what did I do with the remainder I wrote it as a fraction because I can split the one ounce remaining into a half 3 says write a divisional number story with an answer of one fifth my hint to you for this one is you have one of something and you split it into fifths. So, I have one pizza. I share it with five friends. Or four friends, I'm sorry. So my then my total is five. So four friends. How much do we each get? So if I split this into fifths, it's not going to be perfect. Two, three, four, five. If I eat this slice right here, I had one-fifth of the pizza. 
four says divide the number line below so that it shows fourths. Your key word in fourths is four, so I should have four parts. Label the fourths on the number line. So I split it in half. I have two. Split them in halves again. Now I have four parts. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. I same with this one. Five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, then eighth fourths would be at two. Use division or a fraction circle piece or fraction circle pieces to rename the fractions as mixed numbers. My hint to you for this one is count by your denominator. So if I write my multiples of 6, I have 6, 12, 18. The biggest number I can go up to without going over is 12. So 6 times what equals 12 is 2. So I had two holes, and if I do 15 minus 12, because I took 12 away to make the two holes, I have three six left over. For B, I'm going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. The closest number I can get to is 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 holes and I have 1 left over. So how did I do that? I counted, I skip counted by my denominator to find the biggest number without going over. I then counted the numbers. I counted how many numbers that was, which is my, represents my whole. I subtracted that number to get the remainder to get my numerator and stuck it over my denominator. Seven. John said, I added two ninths plus five sixths and got seven fifteenths. Does John's answer make sense? Explain how you know without calculating the answer. No. It does not make sense because he added the denominators and we know when adding fractions you do not add the denominator. Or you might say 15 is not a common denominator for 9 and 6. 8 says, write a fraction that would make each number sentence true. So it's something plus 1 third is greater than 1. So you just need a number bigger than 1. So you could automatically, so I need a fraction though. So everything must be written in a fraction. So I know if I'm using thirds, one whole is a third. And I need to have more than a whole, and I already have a third. So I might add one, two, three, maybe I'll add four thirds. Two minus something is greater than, or three minus something is greater than two. You can put any fraction there you wish. Because anything... You subtract any fraction you subtract from three is going to be greater than two. So I'm going to put a half because then I would have two and a half and it's bigger than three. One plus a fraction is greater than one and one third. So again, any number with a any fraction with a denominator of a third is going to be greater than one and one third. You just can't use one third. So I'm going to put two-thirds. One minus something is greater than one-third. So if I have a whole and it's split into thirds and it has to be greater than one, so that's why I circled that's one-third, I can't subtract the two-thirds I have left because then I'll only have the one-third and it needs to be greater than one-third. So if I only take away the one-third, I have two-thirds left. Nine, a chef has three and one-fourths heads of lettuce. So I'm underlining that because I need it. She uses three-fourths heads of lettuce to make a salad. How many heads of lettuce does she have? So number model. We are subtracting there because of our keyword left. So three and one-fourth minus 
3 fourths equals L for lettuce. Estimate. 3 and 1 fourth is close to 3. 3 fourths, if I draw a picture, oops, I'm used to drawing thirds. There's my fourth. I have this many. That's close to one. So one, three minus one equals two. So now we have to find our answer. So I have my three fourths already drawn. I need three. I have, so here's my, now I have three holes. And I need one more with a third colored in. So now I'm going to change my color marker and I need to cross off three fourths. So there's one one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So I have two holes, one hole, two hole, and one fourth left. So my answer is two and one fourth heads of lettuce. Ten. Natasha is growing a plant for a science project. On Monday, she measured a plant and found that it was two and one tenth inches tall. So I'm going to write that down here, two and one tenth inches. On Wednesday, she measured the plant and found it was four and three tenths inches tall. Natasha told her teacher the plant grew four and, or six and four tenths inches from Monday to Wednesday. What mistake did she make? Well, if you add two and four together, you get six and one and three is four tenths. So she added her two measurements. That's her mistake. She should not have added those two measurements. How much did her plant actually grow from Monday to Wednesday? So to figure out how much it grew, I need to subtract. So for B, I'm writing it up in my space here because I already explained to you what mistake she made. Her mistake was adding them together. She shouldn't have done that. So really her plant four and three tenths minus two and one tenth equals 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. So her plant actually grew 2 and 2 tenth inches. 11 says solve. 1 fourth plus 2 eighths. So my first step is always to list my multiples. So 2, 4, oops, 4, 8, so I'm going to stop right there because I already have an 8. So I have to multiply 1 fourth by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus, so 2 eighths plus 2 eighths equals 4 eighths. Then you have 3, 15, 3 fifths plus 4 fifteenths. I'm going to change my color. I'm going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15. I don't have to change my second fraction. I just have to multiply my first one by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 4 fifteenths. 9 plus 4 is 13 fifteenths. I'm going to give you a second to copy that down. And then I'm going to erase it to do number 12. Or you can pause it. What is one fifth of 20? So A is 20 over 5. That equals 4. You could skip count by 5's to get to 20, or you can do 20 divided by 5. B, one third of 12 is the same as 12 over 3. 3 goes into 12 four times. Now you need what is one half of seven. So that's the same as seven over two. I'm going to count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. The biggest number I can go is six without going over. So that's one, two. I have three holes with one left over. So three and a half is one half of seven. 
D is 1 fifth of 11, which is the same as 11 over 5. I'm going to do the same thing. 5, 10, 15. Biggest number I can get to is 10 without going over, so that's 2. And then I have 1 left over. So 1 fifth of 11 is 2 and 1 fifth. 13. Jason bought a case of 100 oranges from his school fundraiser. He gave his aunt 1 fifth. How many oranges did his aunt get? So just like above, what is 1 fifth of 100? So I'm going to even write that 1 fifth of 100, which is the same as 100 over 5. And we just divide. 5 goes into 10 twice. You have nothing over. And then a 0, so 20. And you could even count by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 equals 5. So he gave his aunt 20 oranges. Right? 14 says write another name for each mixed number that has the same denominator. So you have 7 and 1 fourth. I'm going to just take a whole away, so I know that's 4 over 4, so then I have 6, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So my mixed, another mixed number might be 6 and 5 fourths. For B, if I take 3 away from my, denomin my numerator, I have, I add a whole, and then I have 5 thirds left. And that's it. Good luck.